back to this. It relates. So you know, so we know more than we understand. And so if I were to ask you some of the things that you that you know, so for example, um, I don't know, I guess a, a general one like math, um, two plus two. I ask you, what's the answer to that? You know the answer to that. But to explain the abstract idea of why two plus two equals four is not so easy. You can give me the answer, and you can understand that something is the answer, but not exactly know why it, it's an answer. It's like if I were, um, I mean, you can start to think about a lot of things that, that you know, but you can't explain. I wonder how often you guys will see the quotes up here, and you'll understand it. You'll know what the person's saying, but you have a lot of trouble explaining it, or writing it down, like, how do I, how do I say this? That's the thing, you kind of know something, but you don't understand it. In other words, you can't, um, um, it comes down to this question about what it is to, to understand. So to know, uh, to know is one thing. And I guess that can just be like to, to retain some level of, of information. But the understanding is kind of going back to what but you see, I was saying that this is like a deeper level thing. This is a deeper level thing. Um, so, for example, how about this? Do you guys know what a game is? If I said the word game, you know what a game is? Yes? Okay. If I asked you to define the word game, give me a definition for the word game, I'll save you the trouble. There is no definition for the word game. It's impossible to define. Any definition that you use is going to include things that shouldn't be included in the definition. And any definition that you use is going to exclude things that we think should be included in the definition. So for example, think about any definition you can come up with. You might say, um, it's a game of amusement um, between two people. OK, so is there, uh, when you play soccer, is that a game? Yeah. That's more than two people. Okay well, multiple, okay, well, maybe it's like lots and lots and lots of people. As many people as you want to have. Solitaire. Okay, so yeah, solitaire game. Game of solitaire. You know, you might say like, oh, well, maybe it's a competition between two people. It's war a game. And then you'll, of course, you'll always have that one person who thinks they're clever. It can be. No, it can't be. It can't be. So uh, I'll save you the trouble. Uh, Wittgenstein, this German philosopher, came up with this quandary, pointing out that children use the word game all the time. And we all know what the word means, but to be able to, to explain what it means, to be able to, def to, to define it, very, very difficult. Um, there, you start to think about things that you know, like what the word love, like maybe you know what love is, but to be able to understand what it is, that might take some time. Um, again, mathematics, you might, be, you might know how to do mathematics, but if I asked you how is it that you develop it, in other words, why does it work? That's a very hard question to answer. In fact, that's a question that most people never even think to ask. High-level mathematicians will do that, but most of us just kind of sit and go, "All right, it works." You know? Do you know how um, you, know, you, know, you know flight works? You, can, you guys, most of you guys can make paper airplanes, right? And so you might you might know how flight works, but if I were to ask you to explain it, oh, it's very difficult. These are the kinds of things you can think of. Maybe like this is this is how you can live practically. In other words, it just mostly works. It doesn't always work, but it mostly works. And then this is the stuff that's the really deep level of, of life. These are the fundamental questions of life. Maybe you don't have a meaning or a purpose. That might be to understand the meaning and the purpose of your life. That's different from knowing how to live, which is to just keep moving forward. These are the things that we probably spend our, our, our time hoping to get to the bottom of some things. That's kind of what I designed this class around, trying to attain, attain this more than anything. This will help you get to the bottom of some ideas. And then once you get to the bottom of some ideas, now you can apply those ideas to other areas of your life. Because it isn't just about the one thing, like I said earlier. It isn't just about learning how to add, divide, subtract, multiply. It's about being able to think mathematically. And then understanding how you can think mathematically, you can apply that to lots and lots of other areas of your, of your life. It's not as straightforward as just you know, adding and subtracting. Um, there are a lot of things in life. Now, again, <clears throat> a lot of times this is enough for, for, for people. In fact, most of the time this is probably enough for most people. Well, I just know it works. I don't know why it works. I just know that it does work. And so we just kind of go with it. Because otherwise you spend your whole life examining lots of things. I mean, think about it like almost every invention that you see Almost, not all. 
almost any invention, almost every invention you see is, is the life work of one human being. I mean, and I'm talking like, like for example, um, plastic on this marker. That's the life work of, a, of several human beings, by the way, contributing the process of being able to, 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 to create plastic and to be able to shape it and all that. And then the ink that's inside of it, that's the life work of another individual whose names we don't even know. They're, they're lost to history. And then the ability of, of also the designing of the cap on top of that marker. That's another person's life work. Everything around us is the product, even the, the, the blinds on the, on the windows, that's the life work of somebody. We have no idea who they are. They've given it to us, and now we can kind of start to, to build on top of that. That's, that's the idea of, we, of us standing on the shoulders of giants. We stand on the shoulders of everybody who came before us, whose names we don't even know. They committed their lives to creating something, and then we take it for granted. I'm not saying we should sit there and constantly give praise to the inventor of the of the Roman blind or whatever, but it does mean that we should just kind of be aware of how incredibly privileged we are to be able to live in a world where we can just kind of take some things for granted. It's like if I ask, you know, we think about our ancestors, a lot of our ancestors, well, I guess not our ancestors, I suppose, well, maybe our ancestors, they found out which berries you can eat and which berries will kill you. They discovered that. They didn't understand why those berries would kill them, but they knew it and they could live practically. Now, once you understand why certain berries will kill you, well, now you can apply that to other areas. You can sit there and go, that berry's going to kill you. You know, and it's of a very similar family as that berry over there. And so, because they're very similar berries, I'm not going to eat that berry. That, that one's probably going to kill you also. And now you can start to expand things out. You can live, you can live more fully, more reasonably, more reasonably, maybe. And so, again, for a lot of people, this is enough. And if that's you, no problem. Because, again, it's practical. This is the kind of thing that, that deep thinkers go for. Why is this the case? Why am I the way that I am? This is the person who just kind of accepts it. This is the way I am. I know how I am. This is the way I am. This is the person who tries to figure out why you are the way that you are. Because this is a person here who accepts things as they are. The person who knows. That's just the way it is. And this is the person who seeks to understand why things are the way they are. So they can shape it. Who do I want to become? Yeah, maybe I am angry, and you know, maybe I am. Uh, I lack patience. Maybe I'm not the person who I want to be. So let me figure out why am I the way that I am, and then I can shape myself to become the person I want to be. But that takes again understanding of who you are, not just knowing who you are. I mean, it's pretty easy for us to know who we are. I mean, in a superficial sense, but to understand why we are the way that we are, to understand who we are, that's that takes effort. But there's a huge payoff. Like I said, just like you understand that a certain type of berry will kill you, then that means that you know that all berries related to that will probably kill you, and that can help keep you alive. If you understand who you are and you shape yourself, that can help you enrich your life. Not just keep you alive, but lead to a better life, a more fulfilling life. Because first, of course, you have to know what better would be for you, and then have the courage to engage that. But there's a lot of things that we know, and we just don't understand them. So that becomes the question, which do you want? Which are you satisfied with? And whichever choice you take, no problem. Just be aware that if that's your choice. Questions, comments, concerns, complaints, criticism, critiques? Hmm. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, right?